preparation's gone well, it's gone perfect. Uh, oftentimes you get little injuries and little things like that. This time, all is well, so I'm happy. Uh, it's now just a matter of time to put a, a little training session tonight with the shadow box, stuff like that, and then just wait until the fight, you know what I mean? Like, it is, unfortunately, the part I don't like, you have the weigh-in, I don't have to weigh-in in a particular weight, but obviously you want to look good. So I want to see where I'm at, see what it looks like, but then it's just the waiting game until the actual fight itself. So I'm just at that point at the moment. There's two parts to that. Like the first part is, yes, it's obviously very different being cold and everything else, but I overheat like you wouldn't believe. So to be honest, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to being colder so where I don't get too hot too quick. So it should, I think it might make a difference in the fight itself, actually. So I'm actually quite excited about that part. You, I've watched a lot of his fights. Um, he comes forward in a lot of his fights, but the people basically just stand there with their guard up. When he fought someone who was any good, Parker, uh, he was on the back foot and moving a lot more. So I'm assuming he's going to be on the back foot. So he knows there's a lot of power in my right hand. Um, I will want to come forward anyway, so it's good. So if he goes back and then sort of goes along the ropes, that's great for me. Put him in the corner, but actually make him pay for it at the same time. Um, I think if I get too close, he'll do the tie-up. So there's like an in-between section where I'm too far out and I'm too close in. I want to be there, that little in-between section, and capitalise while I'm there. So that's the whole game plan at the moment. Just pressure, pressure, pressure. The after boxing is the next thing for me. So it's, it's about getting my gym and, and, and looking forward to after boxing. If COVID hadn't happened and I had my five international fights, I'd be retired already, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm sort of like three, four, fives, depending on the money and sees later. Like, I'm 43, I've done enough. I'm happy with my career. I don't want to be at the point where I'm like, I should have stopped this time ago, you know what I mean? So I'm still competitive, I've still got more to give, but I don't want to go too much longer. I think my entire boxing career has been that way, where I'm, I'm just a little bit bitter about everything for, for, for so many different reasons and so many different things. Um, if you just sort of sit on that though, you're just going to be a negative person. You've got to look at the positive of everything. So here we are on one of the biggest cards ever in Australia. Um, I'm on the main stage and everything else. So like, I can't knock what's happening to me at the moment anyway. You know, things have happened, but things have happened to many people. Uh, in just in COVID instances, like people have lost their homes, their, their livelihoods, everything. You know what I mean? So, yes, I missed out on some fights, but I'm still here, I'm still boxing, I'm still going. So, I can't, I can't look too bad at it all.